Hey guys, happy to see you. I'm starting to feel better from my flu, thank God. Um, I wanted to come on here real quick to show you this cool new little gadget I just got from Amazon. It's called a time timer and it looks like this, it's little. I got the three inch one as you can see. You can set it and you turn it and it shows you how much time is passing, which I love for the kids. Um, I'm going to be using it with them to help them focus on homework, reading they need to do, and meals. Like when they're eating dinner, they could take hours if I let them. So this is going to help them visually see how much time they actually are using and watch it as it passes. And there's no creepy like ticking noise that feels really stressful and full of pressure. So I like it for that too. And it's just a simple ding when it's done. Um, and the other thing that I like this for that I'm going to be using it for for myself is for my own productivity. I have a lot of goals this year that involve decluttering the house and um, with exercise. So when it comes to decluttering the house, I'm going to set the timer for either 10 minute bits or 30 minute bits or 20 minute bits, whatever. And I'm going to choose one thing to tackle that day. So maybe it's like the kitchen junk drawer. I'm going to set the timer for like 30 minutes and give myself just that amount of time. And whatever I get done is what I get done. I'm going to empty out the drawer, see what I can get done in 30 minutes, and that'll be it. So that way it'll break all the tasks down to like digestible chunks. And this is going to help me just watching the timer and know that it's not so bad. I'm also using it for exercising because I am not an avid exerciser, never have been. I have a lot of physical maladies, long story. But I've decided this year that I'm going to try to tackle it by maybe starting in 10 minute chunks. So I'm going to say 10 minutes of activity is better than zero activity. So I'm going to start with 10 minutes and I have some like high intensity routines that I've downloaded and I'm just going to do those routines in the 10 minute blocks that I'm going to set on this. And each day I'm going to show up for 10 minutes and I'm going to use this timer to help me show up for myself. So it's not rocket science, I know, but I think it's a great idea for when you have tasks that seem just like overwhelming or punishing or just gross. At least that's what it feels like for me. And I think that this is the perfect solution to break those tasks down to something digestible. And I think after a week of doing 10 minute workouts, I can work on maybe growing up to 15 minute workouts each day and maybe 20 minutes and just starting small and more forgiving is going to be a lot more palatable for me than thinking I need to do these 45 minute workouts three times a week and feel all the pressure and they feel kind of punishing and I don't really want to do them because I feel like it's just I'm going to be miserable but I think I can handle 10 minutes so um 10 minutes of anything is better than zero. So this is what I'm gonna be using to help me with that. And like I said, with household organizing tasks, the junk drawer, the cabinet, this cabinet, that cabinet, the laundry room nook, the shelf, just little bits each day. And maybe not every day, but when I think I can find time, I'm going to just work my way around the room clockwise. So I'm gonna find one thing to focus on and do that thing and then what could I possibly get done within a month? That's a lot of spaces that could get worked on over the long period of time. So instead of saying, oh, by next week, I'm going to have this whole house done. I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to give myself all year or all six months to do all of these things. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you in case it brings you a little encouragement if you want to join in. I mean, you could use your phone or any other kind of timer. I just like this because, again, it's great for the kids. They can see how much time. Watch, I can turn it to 20. Now they're going to visually see the visual example of the clock and how much of it is 20 minutes. So I think that that's really helpful just for the kids to see and they don't have the loud ticking making them nervous. So I'm also going to use it for them to clean their rooms or pick up their toys. I'll say you have five minutes to clean up this room or five minutes to clean up this little part of the family room and put your toys away. So hope that helps.
Happy New Year. I hope all is well with you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.